In this video, we're making a fun water bottle cannon. Check this out. One, two, three, pull. In this video, we're making a water bottle cannon. We're going to use rubbing alcohol as our fuel, similar to a potato cannon. Uh, we're going to use a grill igniter as our ignition source. So to get started, we're using some half inch and three quarter inch PVC pipe that we had left over in the workshop. I'll include all the pieces and description in the video description down below. So the first thing we did was created a launch button so that the kids could fire off the rocket and this is just using a grill igniter as our detonator switch. So we took a small piece of 3 quarter inch PVC pipe and an end cap, drilled a hole in there and thread the wire up through. I tied a knot in the wire to keep it from pulling through and we're going to attach this to the grill igniter assembly later in the process. Um, then we started creating the base to our water bottle cannon. Um, I'm using a T-coupler as the, as the center of the assembly. That'll be attached to a half-inch mortar that will hold our actual water bottle. Um, to complete the base, I'm using just a few small pieces of 3 quarter inch PVC and two 6 inch pieces of PVC. I attach those to the T-coupler using a 90 degree elbow to create the base that you see here. After assembling the base, you can see we're soldering the grill igniter to the wiring. I've used some heat shrink tubing here just to protect those connections. And then we're going to fit this down into that 3 quarter inch PVC pipe. I'm also using some hot glue here to hold our launch button together. After gluing together the launch button with some hot glue, I'm going to turn my attention back over to the cannon base. And I'm going to use the hot glue to glue the wire into the center of our mortar piece here. Once I've got the hot glue set on there, we're going to go ahead and create a stop collar that will position the water bottle about midway through on the mortar arm itself. I'm going to use a piece of 3 quarter inch PVC pipe to create this stop collar. You can see I'm cutting a small slot with a Dremel tool. This will allow the 3 quarter inch PVC to slide over top of the half inch PVC. Now we position the stop collar so that our water bottle is halfway down the mortar tube and we use some sandpaper to clean off some of the hot glue and make the PVC pipe smooth. So for the fuel for our water bottle cannon, we're going to use some 91% rubbing alcohol. If you've ever fired a potato cannon, you'll know that you can also use some hairspray. Really, we just want to use some type of fuel that will ignite with our grill igniter. So I'm pouring some 91% rubbing alcohol into a water bottle, and I'm going to ask William to shake this up. This will volatilize the fuel inside of the water bottle, giving us a nice cloud of fuel that can ignite when we push the launch button. So William's going to shake this up really good for me, and then I'm going to pour off the excess rubbing alcohol into a small cup that I have over here on the side. Then we'll position the water bottle onto our launch mortar and we've got everything ready to go. So our water bottle cannon is assembled and ready for launch. Now I'll hand the launch button over to the kids and in five, four, three, two, one, launch! Oh, and it worked perfectly. So there we have it. After putting a small hole in the ceiling, we're gonna go ahead and pack this up and move outside. Do I do it? Shut it! With some practice, we were able to get our water bottle rockets to fire about 50 feet. Now please make sure you have adult supervision as the rubbing alcohol can occasionally catch on fire. This is e easily extinguished, making this for a fun backyard science experiment. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel, as we'll be publishing some more great science experiments. And as always, thank you for watching!